Alrighty guys, working on another Polaris Indy today. This is like a late 80s Indy Trail 488 fan. Picked this one up recently for 160 bucks. This one had no spark, ended up being the CDI uh, coil module. I had one off another sled. Um, I just brought it and swapped it and it was all good. One thing I would recommend guys, if you ever have a no spark on an Indy, always try unplugging the black wire down here. That is for the kill switches in case you had a bad emergency stop switch one of the throttle safety switches or the key switch had gone bad you could unplug that and if you have spark you know it's a problem in that circuit and it's not anything in the stator or coil but yeah that got the spark fixed it was kind of running eh, not so good i'm gonna take the head of the carb apart gonna clean the carbs make sure they're clean check the line for the impulse for the fuel pump making sure that the line is not full of oil sometimes because the pumps on these aren't quite as high as the or not higher than the motor when they sit they like to get oil in that line and then it causes a uh, no fuel pump scenario so gonna get the carbs kind of evaluated cleaned out i got the one on the left side kind of the bowl off it's not the worst just gonna make sure the float height's correct the jets are clean just slap them back together because it did run just not the best so just take a quick gander at the uh, oil lines down here I mean, they're brittle, but it's not like it's terrible. You know what I mean? Not the worst. I'm not going to touch them. They're not leaking yet. Um, but I will have to take off that impulse line just to make sure there's no oil in it. And if I have to, I'll pull it out that way and drain it down and see if any oil comes out. But somebody did fuel lines on it. I'm going to double check in the tank to make sure the pickup line is in there. I'll probably take this the line off here. Just double check to make sure everything's copacetic in there before I get too excited. And yeah, so I'll keep getting at this, get the carbs cleaned, and I'll show you guys what that impulse line looks like if there's any oil in it. Alrighty guys, back on the Indy. Got those carbs cleaned out. Wasn't really that bad. I mean, I just blew through all the jets, made sure everything was cool. Uh, make sure the float height was good. Set the air screws at one and a quarter turns. Um, we're gonna basically pressurize the gas tank see if any fuel gets here Then I'm gonna pull the rope and see if I get any dribbles of fuel coming out of the lines Then I'll at least tell me my pump is in somewhat okay condition And I also did take the line off that was not full of oil I cut it off and re put it on and it tightened up a little bit tighter um, I do have to run some conduit around these lines just so they don't rub through um, if it was ever to be driven but uh, the pickup piece pickup line fitting I was gonna try to take it out to check, but I'm gonna end up breaking it off, I think. I also did look in the tank before and I did see a line in there and we could blow in the tank and fill it up. So I think the line is okay. Um, but yeah, so I got the carbs back on, the uh, intake boots tightened up. We're gonna run the airbox off of it for now, if it even runs, but uh, yeah. So the choke cable, the end of it is snapped off. So the only way I choke it, either I lift the cables up manually or just feed it some gas till it starts, so. Looks like there's some miscellaneous hardware down there. Alrighty guys, so I tested, make sure the fuel pump was pumping when I turned it over and it did. I pushed gas to the lines and then I pumped it, or I pulled it over and I could see it shoot out. So I know the fuel pump at least is somewhat working. What I'm gonna do now is give it a little bit of gas down the carbs and try to start it and record at the same time and uh, see if it runs any better. And uh, go from there. I think I got my, yeah, my gas bottles right here. It's gonna be a little tricky to do. Just put a little bit in those slides. Just see, see if it'll like that candy. Good, good, good. 